Ah, uh, still cold. I've been waiting for this all week. Couldn't wait to get my hands on one of these. God, I've missed you. You're such a dork. It's just been a while since I've got to enjoy a nice cold drink. I think I deserve it. I mean, with all the stress I've been under lately. Stress? Yeah, I've been under a little bit of stress lately. I mean, look, I'm 18 now, and the world is just is changing so fast, and I just feel like it's completely out of my control. I'm gonna have to start saving good money buying my own things. I just, I just feel like I can't enjoy things like I used to as a kid, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, you never really opened up much about your past. I figured since we both have a little time, you could talk about it. It's nothing much to be completely honest with you. I grew up in a poor home. Couldn't really do much. You know, my family always did their best to look out for me, but they always had their own thing going on. You know, they never really included me much. I guess that's why I'm so independent now. What about your mom? I thought you two had a great relationship. Great relationship. Yeah, there were times that it was okay, but then there were times when it was not so okay. But to be completely honest with you, my childhood wasn't always the best, but... I could remember that if I wanted to have fun, I could just go outside into the backyard. <laughs> I can still feel it, my backyard. It was so free, so wide open. I felt like I could accomplish anything at all when I was out there, whether it would be playing with my football or riding on my bike. I literally felt like I was king of the world. I felt like I had no worries. Now I feel like all I do is worry. <sighs> worry about my job, worry about my my mental health. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are times that are better than others, but for the most part I just feel like the world can get the better of me. Sometimes I, <sighs> I find myself wondering if it's even worth getting up in the morning. But then, I remember if I don't, I'll never find a better life for myself. What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? No. No, you're fine. I just, I can relate when you talk about how different things are now compared to the past. But, I mean, things have to change because when things change, we continue to grow as people. Yeah. I would agree with that. I mean, what do you think? Do you think I've grown up to be a good person so far? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when we were in school and <laughs> I spilled the entire carton of milk all over myself? <laughs> uh, literally everyone was laughing. I felt like a complete idiot. Like I remember as I was leaving the cafeteria, I looked up and you were the only one that was not laughing at me. And I, I don't know why, but at that moment you stood out to me. And then later, <laughs> later you, you came up to ask me if I was okay. Okay, no, I was a complete mess. I probably looked like a total idiot. But it, it just meant so much to me that you were the only person that came up to ask me if I was okay. <laughs> yeah, I I do remember that. I caught you crying in the main office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's so crazy looking back on it now. We were so young, but... I guess I would have felt the same way to have everyone laughing at me like that. I wanted you to know that not everyone in this world is an asshole. Yeah, but most of them are. <laughs> Who would have thought that one kind gesture would have 
have such a chain reaction that 10 years later would lead to us being 18 years old, sitting together in the same car, drinking the same beer at the same time. <laughs> are you sure you're tipsy or are you high? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I guess what I really want to say is that after all we've been through in our entire lives together, I'm thankful that I met you. And I'm thankful we got to go on this crazy ride together. <laughs> I know it's so stupid getting all sentimental. It's probably just the booze talking, but... I mean, I know we've had our ups and downs, but... Well... Katie, I just love you so much, and I just want to say thank you. Here's to our future. I'm so sorry. It's a pleasure doing business with you.